How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating an arena manager. Not anything that's too extremely hard and honestly it's very similar to how we sort of did our player data in um <clears throat> in TNT tag so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an arena manager class but before that all the code will be available for you guys on github so go over there and check it out if you guys are having trouble following along I'm gonna sort of do this off the whim here because um, I've made a, well, like 10 different arena class managers before arena manager classes before um, the hardest part with arena managers is depending how you do it could really depend how easy it is to to get your arenas and have them reload every single time that the server starts so if you sort of make reference to my last video in the part where we talked about the configuration section that's going to be kind of useful for how you can get and load arenas uh, every time that the server launches I'm not going to do that in this video mostly because that would take a lot kind of a lot of time to set that up I'm going to show you guys how you can create a pretty basic arena manager class and then an arena methods class which sort of sets gets and does everything else that for the for the arena manager so let's just go ahead and create a new arena manager and we shouldn't need to implement anything here so we're just going to go ahead and create a private string which is going to be the arena name we're going to say private um, let's just see int which is going to be the id then we're going to go ahead and well i guess we should we can just do that uh then we're going to need a private boolean game started because we want to know if the game has started we're going to go private boolean um activated because we want to know if the arena is activated and we're going to go ahead and say private array list of UUIDs. And that's just going to be players in game. Because <clears throat> we want to have a list of all the players that are in the game. And for the most part, that's all we're really going to need. Uh, depending how you want to do it. What you could also do is you could just go ahead and do private location and maybe you just want to do lobby spawn and then you'll handle the locations of the player spawns um, some other way and I can never import um, bucket location I, I really don't know why uh, it's actually pretty annoying so and location so we'll just have one spawn which will be the lobby spawn um, you can make more spawns in here if you want you know depending on what your game is uh, say it's gonna have you know say the Hunger Games and each match has ten people so you'd have ten different locations for spawns so you can do an array list for player spawns and then just one location here for the lobby spawn so the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and say public arena manager and we want string name int id boolean game started boolean activated uh, we want a new, or we want array list of UUID, and let's just fix that. And that's just going to be player in game. And then we want a location. Oh my gosh, location, uh, which is going to be lobby spawn. And then we can go ahead and set all these. So this dot name equals name. This dot ID equals ID. This dot game started equals game started. This dot activated equals activated. This dot players in game equals players in game. And this dot lobby spawn equals lobby spawn. And then let's go ahead and create the getters and setters for this. I'm doing the really lazy way. Well, the more efficient way, I should say. Um, there's probably even 
an even more efficient way to do this than how I'm doing it. And okay, so we have our arena manager class now. So now what we need to do is we do actually need to go ahead and create another class here, and we'll call this uh, create arena cmd and this is just going to implement command executor go ahead and implement methods okay and then we want to go ahead and say private tutorial main plugin equals tutorial main dot plugin since we have already set that up in here so public static tutorial main plugin plugin equals this and we're also going to need to create a public hash map on our main class here and this is going to be used so we can store um, all of the arena managers so what we want is we want to store it by a string and then we want to store it by arena manager obviously and this is going to be arenas arena manager hash map equals new hash map so now what's going to happen here is every time we create an arena, we're going to add it to this arena manager's hash map. The string is going to obviously be the arena name, just to make things easy. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and just do this here. Let's just return this true. And we don't have any commands here. And this is just going to be, what did I just say it was going to be? I always forget how these go. So I'm just going to copy it from somewhere else oh, I don't even know what that is uh, let me just copy it from here I always forget how to do the commands thing in here I don't know why but we got that now and we will just call this uh, arena so we will say I guess we can just change this to arena CMD for now ah uh, now we'll just keep it as this just so we don't have to change things so we're gonna say if Command dot get name dot equals ignore case and if equals arena then we're going to say if and let's just change this to be args change this to be sender uh, so we want to actually say if sender instance of player because we don't want this to run if they're not an instance of a player and let's just go ahead and do that and let's just pull that back there and just add one more here because we want that return true to always be on the bottom there because if we don't it's just going to show the command so we're going to say uh, uh equals ignore case arena if sender is instance of player so then let's just go ahead and cast the sender to player so that we can get the player values and then we're going to say if args dot length equals oops dot length equals or well we should say is less than and how many values we're we going to need so we're going to need the name the ID if the game started which is going to be false we don't really need that activated so we really just need the string name the ID and if it is activated so we need three values so if it is less than if it is uh, greater than or equal to three. So well, actually we'll just say if it's equal to three, we are going to go ahead and say plugin dot arena hash map dot put and so how we want to set this up is we want string name and that's going to equal actually we want four because we're going to need to check to see if argument zero is create so we're going to say if arg zero args dot equals ignore case create then we will go ahead and do this so then we can go ahead and say string name equals Args 
one and we can just copy that a couple times there and we will say ID which is going to be two um, we actually are going to need to parse that as an integer so what we can simply do is go ahead and surround this in a try and catch and we will just say exception e and e dot print stack trace so we need to go ahead and parse this as an integer so we're just going to go ahead and say integer dot parse int and just so you know that's how you can parse things or create things so if you have a string but you need it to be a boolean you can do the same thing boolean dot parse boolean and then we have a boolean which is what we're going to do right here and we're going to go ahead and say boolean dot parse boolean and this is going to be argument three <clears throat> and this is going to be activated so what we're going to put is we're going to put name there and then we're going to go ahead and say new arena manager and so what we need is it's going to show us here on IntelliJ and sorry my thing's not zoomed in it must have reset itself <coughs> and I just noticed it <clears throat> so we're just going to do name and it's going to show us what we need next oops okay so this right here is going to show us everything that we need so we need the name uh, we need the boolean for started yeah we need the location so let's go ahead and say name ID started is going to be false we know that already activated is going to be uh, let's change that to activated and let's just change this to activated and what else is there I always I forget everything every time uh, and then we need uh, a new array list of players so it's just going to be a new array list and this is just going to be UUIDs and then we need the player dot get location and I think we are all set there yep yeah, so there we go so now we have created our new arena and we have added it into our arena managers hash map in our main class so now we can go ahead and just send the player an SLM message and we're saying send message check color dot green arena added to config although we have not added to added it to the config uh, so I guess we should go ahead and say arena created uh, you guys know how to set things to the config so I'm not really gonna go over that all that much so what we need to do is go back in here in our tutorial main tutorial tutorial main and say this dot get command arena dot set executor and we're just going to say new create arena command manager or, uh, create arena command so let's go ahead and export this and let's just go ahead and reload here as soon as it's finished exporting and let's just test our command to see if it works and there we go okay and you can see I'm in the same exact spot so let's just do slash arena and you can see there that nothing printed out because it did work so if we go ahead and say if command equals slash arena and if args so if args are not so let's just say else player dot send message check color dot red invalid argument length and let's just copy that and we'll say usage slash arena create we'll say arena name ID activated boolean just so they know that it's a boolean so if we go ahead and re-export that and we do slash arena you can see there invalid argument length uh, usage there is arena slash create arena so if we go ahead and do slash create uh, you can still see there it says invalid ar argument length so we can go ahead and say uh, test one true and you can say arena create I meant to say arena created um, so we have created our arena and so now what we need to figure out is how can we go ahead and sort of make an easy way to to modify our arena right because that's what you want to do so what we can actually do is we can make a class and we can call it arena methods and we can do a couple of things so since we already kind of have 
this right here. We don't really need to worry about doing the setting and all that for, for our arena methods because we can just simply do that by calling the arena. But say for instance we want to go ahead and you know do say public void you know set up arenas or maybe we'll change this to on enable setup arenas. We we need something to do that. So what we can do is we can say for arena manager arena manager or you can say arenas if that's easier for you and we'll just go ahead and get a private tutorial main plugin equals uh, tutorial main plugin type dot plugin so we can go ahead and say plugin dot arena manager hash map dot values and this is going to get all of the arenas um, or actually this would be more on disable here so on disable um, we could get all the arenas and then we could start you know setting things to the config so we could say you know plug in dot get config oops dot get config dot set and then we can go ahead and say you know uh, arenas dot get name plus and then we can start setting all the values so we can say you know lobby spawn and then we can put a comma here and we can say arenas dot get lobby spawn and it would set that to the config if we want to go ahead and say save config um, I'm not gonna do all this because like I said you guys do know how to um, create configs and save configs and if you don't I have a video on my channel where I teach you guys how to create configs and also there's like every person who's ever made a bucket tutorial video has made a video on how to do configs um, but yeah, so I mean, this is pretty much the gist of Arena Managers, guys. So this part here, and the sort of the command for creating the arena, is probably the more important part there. Once you do that, you'll pretty much have access to pretty much everything that there is for your arena that you created in your Arena Managers class. And then once you do the loop here, you can get access to everything. So like, I can do arenas dot, and I you can see that I have all of these method methods that I had already set up in there. And I can also set these and I can also get them. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was kind of short and sorry it was not super, super in depth. But I like to give you guys a little bit of a challenge here and sort of let you guys explore more on how you guys can start creating your own arena manager. But like I said, this is pretty much the gist of it. And yeah, thanks for watching.